The Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a revolutionary by sharing a fan bragging story of great customer service on Facebook.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Hey, America, does telling your story so that it gets heard, understood, and remembered sometimes feel like Mission Impossible? Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR can help. Jerry's here on the Experience Pros Radio Show every week at this time with a tip to help you tell your story. Welcome back, Jerry. What's our storytelling tip this week? Well, thank you very much. Glad to be here. The tip today is that, you know, you don't have to be a great orator to be a great speaker. Uh, I spent a bunch of years at the local phone company here on their corporate PR staff, and about half of that time I spent writing speeches for and coaching um, uh, executives there on delivering their speeches, and I've done a lot of workshops. And But over and over again, one of the things I find is that people are just scared to death of standing up in front of an audience and saying something. Absolutely. And it's all about, I think it's really all about the fact that, you know, none of us like to make mistakes Mm -hmm. Um, and if you're standing in front of an audience and everybody's looking at you not only if you make a mistake you know people are going to notice yes and so you know many years ago there was a book called the book of lists and they had all these lists about a whole bunch of things one of the things they had was the list of um, you know the 10 biggest fears people have and they listed number one as the fear of public speaking absolutely above Uh, above dying yeah, I'm not sure I quite believe that part of it, but it is a common fear. And again, it's all about this idea of I can't make a mistake. Well, you know what? It's okay to make a mistake. You do not have to be perfect. Oh, I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, try, yeah, right. It's tough to hear that because those of us who. Uh, Our boss is watching, maybe potential clients are watching. I mean, there's a lot writing on this. But I think what you're going to tell us is we have to be relatable, right? You know, just human. You know, the reality is that what you say is often not quite as important as how you say it. And and saying it with great, you know, with perfection and all that. You know, we've all heard those people and, and listen to them, and you just don't believe a word they say. We're much more we're, we're much more likely to believe you if we like you and trust you. And the way you do that is be human. So if you're yourself, yeah, you don't want to go up and make mistakes on purpose. But if you flub something or if you misspeak, just just fix it and don't worry about it, or just move on and acknowledge the mistake if if it makes sense to do that. You know, the other thing I think the reason that people are afraid of speaking to an audience is they just sometimes just they, they've got this big presentation and they have no idea what they should talk about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to know where you're going in order to get there, right? Exactly. And so, you know, it's it's really not that hard because, it, you know, you're speaking, you know, for your audience. And so basically what you really want to know is what is it that I want them to know? But what is it that they want to know? Why will they care about what I'm going to say? And what do I want to have happen? And if I know the interest of those kind of things, if I know what I want to have happen because I talk to them, and I know what they, I want them to know, and then I have to figure out why will they care, what will they want to know. And if I can, if I can build what I'm going to make in my present, put in my presentation around the answers to those questions, it doesn't matter whether I'm a great speaker. I'm going to give a great speech. Yeah, you need to be a great communicator. I love that. Uh, the tip tip from Jerry this time, Jerry Brown PR, you don't have to be a great orator in order to be a great speaker. I think that, that kind of helped. It, it calms some of the butterflies, at least for some of us, Jerry. Thank you. Absolutely. And you've got a blog, right? I do. JerryBrownPR.com. Jerry Brown PR. You know, the late journalist, journalist, screenwriter, and Denver native Gene Fowler once said, writing is easy. All you have to do is sit, sit staring at a blank sheet of paper until drops of blood form on your forehead. Keep your forehead dry and hire Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR. He'll help you write blog posts, social media postings, your articles, press releases, even your PowerPoint presentations. And what I also love is he can edit what you've already written. Check him out at Jerry Brown at jerrybrownpr.com. Once again, you can reach Jerry at jerry at jerrybrownpr.com or by phone at 303-594-8016. That's 303-594-8016. Wow. You know, uh, he, he, he makes great points. And, and frankly, I, I think that's a, 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 an art form in order to avoid trying to be perfect. I, I have a hard time with it sometimes. 
Well, and I think a lot of people do, but thank goodness we've got Jerry Brown. And right. if you're having any trouble, in fact, last week I saw he had done an outline for somebody for us who oh, yeah. who was a little nervous about doing a presentation for a group. It was a new industry. Well, once she had her outline, she wasn't nervous at all. Yeah. She knew exactly where she was going. I love that. Well said. We'll be right back on the most positive business talk show in America. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com.